Well, law enforcement agencies across America are taking notice of UFOs, and now they want a way to track them. Major cities, chief association, I should say, is a forum for police executives. They say UAPs and UFOs pose a national security threat, and it's the responsibility of police officers to know how to detect, track, and report them. That's why they just sent out an 11-page UAP guide to police departments all over the country. Joining me now, we have Johnny Jennings, police chief for the Charlotte-Mecklenburg Police Department. Chief Jennings, uh, always good to have you on the show. As you know, unidentified flying objects have gotten way more play in the last year than ever before, but I think a lot of Americans still hear this and say, what? Walk us through this handbook. Yeah, I, you know, I, I think it's the same as anybody else. Police officers and uh, police chiefs across the country, uh, they, they say the same response. What? And uh, But when you look at the entire uh, aspect of what's going on and what has been going on, it's really just an awareness uh, situation to say that, hey, these things are out there. They're happening whether you believe in, in what the origin of them are or not. Uh, they're happening, and it's important that we are able to report on them. Yeah, I, I was wondering what the internal response <laughs> to this has been. My other question when I heard this story yesterday, I mean, do these encounters happen often enough to where it rises to the occasion of needing a handbook for it? H have you seen one? Yeah, no, I, I haven't personally seen one, and we haven't, you know, we don't have a great deal of reporting of, of any uh, uh, unidentified anomalous uh, phenomenon here, in, phenomena here in uh, Charlotte. Uh, however, they do happen in certain parts of the country that, uh, and if they do happen, they want to, we just want to make sure that uh, they're reported properly, they're taken seriously. Uh, again, you know, I don't think anybody's in major city chiefs are running around saying that we're being invaded by uh, aliens, but I think that what we're saying is that these things are out there, they're happening, they can be a threat, particularly if you have uh, aircraft in your uh, organization, you know, Charlotte. Mecklenburg does have helicopters that we fly, and so we have to make sure that uh, we're safe in the skies as well. Mm -hmm. I'm also curious, does your department have enough resources to dedicate uh, to UFOs and UAPs? Well, there's really no uh, resources to dedicate to it. I think what the, the booklet and handbook that we're talking about is simply that an awareness uh, handbook and as, as well as information on you know, hey, let's take these serious. If your aviation team or if any of your officers do encounter something that's uh, that's that's strange out there in the skies or the skies land or even in the water, uh, that uh, it's important to report that and that we start tracking it as best we can because we just, you know, you don't know until you till something happens or you don't know until you know that uh, uh, yeah. you have to be safe in the skies as you're flying our aircraft as well, and that's important to make sure that we're tracking these these incidents. Yeah, you don't know until you know. Uh, well, this story certainly caught our eye this week, so we appreciate you taking the time to break it all down. Uh, Chief Johnny Jennings, thanks so much, sir. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.